One, two, three. Hey, it's me, your good buddy, Matt D. Long time, no see. Once again, here in the old game garage. Last time we were together, we did the French exclusive to Toys, Toys R Us exclusive, apparently Toys R Us. You know, I was gonna do this as a bit, no. Sorry. Apparently, Toys R Us has numerous exclusives. DS exclusives. Baby Life is one of them by the French developer. But this time, we're not... We're, dude, it took a while. Because we're not doing one game. Doing two. We are doing... Bachelor the Video Game. Which also has The Bachelorette. I know you're thinking, two games on one disc? Are you sure they just kind of didn't like reskin the game and just kind of like coded it probably yeah they did there are minor differences by the way there are actually minor differences the women are bitchier than the guys the guys are like a little bit nicer to you the women in general seem cattier that's misogyny anyway so the bachelor i always want to say the bachelor at the bachelor the Bachelor is a 2014 game, a simula dating si dating sim game. So, it, okay, they call it a dating sim game, but it's not really because that implies that you have choices or dialogue trees. It's really just a succession of mini of five suitors that you are trying to uh, win the hearts of, and those five suitors are are broken down into uh, three episodes. And there's like five games per episode. And, and, and it's, so it's just a series of small mini games. And if you do well on the mini game, you get to bang a dude. The, like literally the first thing you do is like, you totally like take your panties off, like right off the start. And then it gets more G-rated weirdly, but it, it goes in hot. The mini games include like, blowing things up like balloon like you got a pressure level that you gotta match and you just get which is and, and that's like blowing things up or trying to get certain things to certain temperatures again it, it, it's cooking it seems to be like if your girl's more masculine like inflating things if you're a guy i don't know if that's always the case there's also like oh god some of the games are there's like racing games where you're trying uh, crude crude racing games where you're racing against like the competitor but those are super easy there's all puzzle games where you have to figure out what is heavier by the shapes of the symbols that one gets kind of hard because it's sometimes they're just throwing a bunch of bottles at you and nothing really moves and you don't and because you're against the competitor you don't know how fast they're gonna choose the bottles there's a tracing game where you trace stuff the puck game where you uh, hit hit the screen and it kind of grows and, and these like kind of hexagonal patterns. Uh, kind of, kind of, like forgetting a game, but it's a variation of those five, six games. It's different levels seem to be different places. So there's different like snow themed, Hollywood themed, and it's all pretty easy except when it's not and it's super hard or just throws in a, a curveball i mean it's pretty meh so no but this is really what i want to talk about real quick this is fine like on the ds right so i've now played a bunch of these games i now expect a lot of them to be kind of shovel wary and yeah a little subpar so when i played this i wasn't necessarily disappointed i expected more because it was the bachelor so i expected slightly better animation slightly better dialogue i, I just expected just a, a little more it, it really is lacking to be quite honest this is a really disappointing game for what i thought was a kind of big franchise uh, all i am to say is i wasn't as disappointed because i'm uh, playing the handheld but it's one of those situations where i don't feel like you're playing a lesser version by playing the DS version, like, right? Like, this also came out on the Nintendo Wii. And I think the console version is probably exactly the same as this. All it is to say is, I would be furious if I played console games 
this shitty. It's, for some reason, a bit more of a pass because it's a handheld, but if you were playing a, a real Wii game and this, this was it, I would be mad. Like, furious. Again, there's like four mini games. Six, maybe, I feel. You know, we should really read the back because The Bachelor of the Video Game, based on the hit TV series, also includes The Bachelorette. Two games. Experience the excitement of the TV show as you compete for the affections of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette! Exclamation point. It's up to you to make the impressions that you will leave your suitor with only one option to offer you the final rose. I could have read that better. Yep. Pause is not in the right places. Chris Harrison. I guess that's Chris Harrison. Yeah, I guess. I guess they do an animation of Chris Harrison. Chris Harrison is once again your host and will guide you through the game just like the TV show. There is no voice acting. Let me be clear. No voice acting. Sabotage your opponent's dates to prevent them from receiving the rose, or they may sabotage yours. Again, that implies that there's more into it. It's just mini games. You can either win or lose a mini game. Interact with the real life, the bachelor, or the bachelor. Again, maybe these are characters from previous seasons. That I don't know. That becomes slightly more interesting. If it really is. Like, oh, it's Caitlyn from season three. That's amazing. Maybe. I don't know. Test your personality type and view your dating profile and compatibility results to find your perfect match. Okay, so that's... This is why we read the back. Yeah, and there's love tests. Like a Cosmo... Like a teen Cosmo. There's also love tests that you can unlock that are sort of fun. Again, uh, great on a mini game. If it was on a console version, I would literally blow my brains out. No way. It wouldn't be fun at all. It would be crazy. Come on. And is there voice acting on the console game? That's another question I want to know. That's it. So I'm going to Bachelor. Bleh. I'm, I'm so bummed. So I, I, I was so hype on this game. I was hoping they'd be so bitchy. Not. Bummer. Bummer town. But I've never seen the show, so maybe if you're a super fan of the show, like, hey, you know, hey, man, thanks for watching. It's, I know this, we're getting pretty deep in the, you're pretty deep in the YouTube weeds if this is where you are, so thank you. I appreciate it. My dog appreciates it. Uh, are you playing anything? Write comments down below. Thank you so much. I mean, are you a fan of The Bachelor, Bachelorette? Have you ever watched the shows? Is there anything from the TV to this that is relatable? Let me know. Are you into baby's life? Baby life? Baby life? I already know the next game. Also, it better? Better. Um, that's your spoiler alert. Lake Shop Square. Good night. <sighs> After hours. So, The Bachelor was made, made me think of other things, like, totally not related to uh the game that i thought were, were actually more interesting uh so th there was an era 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 in the mid aughts where dating shows were the king blind date would be the kingest of the kings roger lodge the king of those kings uh i don't know if you anyone remembers uh blind date it, two people would go on a date and cartoons and jokes would ensue a lot of uh, cartoon wolf eyes looking at boobs. There's a couple other shows. Uh, I don't che cheaters. I don't know if that fit in the same category, but it's about cheating. Um, my, but of all of them, my favorite was the Fifth Wheel. Oh, dude, Fifth Wheel. I would I would stay up late just so to catch my stories, and my stories was the Fifth Wheel. Season one was hosted by Aisha Tyler, and already season tickets on Aisha. The second I saw her, I mean, it's one of the, you have TV, like an impossible TV crush on a person that you'll never see in the future. So the fifth wheel, the concept is two guys, two girls blindly go out on a date. They're not really like matched up and it's up to those four individuals to figure out how they're going to match up together. You know, uh, is it going to be uh, a, a gal and a guy or 
A gal and B guy, or it, 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 the combinations are not endless because there's only four people, which is why halfway through the show, uh, as as these four people are just beginning to figure it out, they add the fifth wheel, which is a fifth either a guy or a girl, dependent on the show. And here's the thing, that fifth wheel, always a ringer. Always a ringer. Like, always, just if it's a dude, just cut with the wings and just ha handsome and a personality. If it was a gal, I mean, just legs all the way up to her neck and just bang and the pow. I mean, just ringers. Just to throw a monkey wrench in whatever was happening beforehand. And it was beautiful because it, the best part about it is people just kept on swinging for the fences sometimes because it, because you don't know who you're necessarily like set up with in a second it ended up that the show ends with all five contestants and they have someone's name on a whiteboard that they flip over and that person is who they're picking and if those two people pick each other they win and go out on dates and theoretically fall in love. But here's the great thing. A lot of times, no one would pick anybody. I mean, people would sometimes try, but there would be points where the fifth wheel would come in and, like, Jeff or Joan or whoever would suddenly realize this isn't happening. I'm either, A, not going to care, or sometimes all the choices were just kind of duke. I remember one episode where all the dudes were just dudes. And you could just tell, like, the ladies, I'm not having it. And just, yeah. yeah I'm, I, think they, I think the girls chose each other. Anyway, great. Awesome. Fifth Wheel. Uh, uh, brilliant television. More Fifth Wheel, please. We're in rough shape. Love you. I know, Seven. Love you.